Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'll be showing you how to make text appear behind an object in CapCut PC Pro version and I'll be showing you two different examples of this. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so the first thing we'll be doing today is importing the clips that we'll be using for the editing. So under the media tab here, you're just going to select import. From there, I'm going to click, hold the click and drag over these two clips and these will be the two examples that we'll be using for this tutorial and then I'm gonna go to open, all right? I'm gonna click on the right here to unhighlight both clips and then it's just actually the right clip that I wanna start with. So I'm gonna click on that, drag and drop it down to the timeline here. From there, I am going to add a text layer. So I'm gonna go up here and go to the text tab and I'm gonna click on that. And from there, I'm gonna click on default text, drag and drop it down to the timeline. I'm going to make sure the text box is highlighted. I'm going to click on the edge of the text box, hold the click and drag it to the right so that it's the same size as the video clip below. From there, I'm going to just take a look here. So we see the default text. What we're trying to do here is make some of this text appear behind these buildings. Okay. And then the top of the text will appear above the buildings. All right. And the first step to doing that is we're going to customize the text. So I'm just going to highlight default text. I'm going to hit backspace. And then from there, I'm just going to call mine text. And then I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to go with the font here. I'm going to search for a bold font. I know Druk, D-R-U-K-W-I-D-E, Druk Wide is a bold font. So I'm going to select that one. Now to make this pop out, I'm going to just scroll down to shadow because the sky is light. I just want to make sure that you can see the text. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. And if you want to make it bigger, you just click on this and drag. So I'm going to make it right about here, just so that the bottom of the text is covered by these buildings, just so that you can see the effect. Now, that's the size I want. That's the position I want. What I'm going to do is create a compound clip for these texts. Okay. So since the text box highlighted, I can, all I have to do is hold down on alt and hit G as in George to create a compound clip. The next thing I want to do is duplicate this particular bottom clip right here with the buildings. All right. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold down on alt and drag this up above the text layer. Now it's duplicated. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to keep these buildings and possibly the land as well. But essentially we really want to keep these buildings right here and the rest we want to remove the background. Okay. The sky for the top layer, the sky will still show for the bottom layer, but it will have the text in front of the sky, but behind the building. So that's the whole objective of this particular example for the tutorial. So since that's the case, how we do that is we make sure that the top layer is highlighted and then we go over here to video basic and then remove BG. All right. Now, if we were, putting text behind a person, we would hit auto removal, but we're putting text behind a, a number of buildings here. So we're going to go to custom removal. I'm going to select custom removal. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the smart brush. Okay. And the smart brush defaults at this size right here. If you can see this circle, if you want to make that circle smaller and get more detailed, you can click on the slider and bring it to the left and it makes the circle smaller. If you want to make it bigger, you can click on the slider, make it to the right and it gets bigger. Okay. What I'll do here is change it to 20, which is where it defaults. And then in order to keep these buildings in the shot, what I'll do is I am just going to click and hold the click and I'm going to outline everything that I want to keep. Okay. So I'm just going to click on this, drag it down, click on that. And what we're doing right here is we're just giving CabCut an idea of exactly what we want to keep in this particular top layer. Okay. So we got all these buildings and now you just need to align it. So you just need to go to the top here and just outline everything here. 
including this building. And then maybe go over to the right a little bit. And then hopefully CapCut will understand what we are doing here, okay? Because I'm not the greatest at, not the most accurate at these types of things. So I all I did was release. So I released the click and it's pretty much got everything that I want. So what's what it's doing right now is it's processing it. You have to wait till it's done processing and then there is one more step. So it says customize cutout complete and the processing is done. Let's click apply and boom. That's exactly what we're looking for, okay? Now, the final step to this is we can make an animation. So I'm just gonna click on this particular compound clip with the text. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter, just a touch shorter than the clips itself, just at the end, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is go to animation and then for the in animation, I'm just going to scroll down a bit and I'm actually just looking for down, slide down. So boom, we have that effect, it slides down and then we can just go to the out animation and I'm going to have that slide up. All right, so let's just take a look here. Slide up is right here and that's for the oat animation. So I'm gonna put this on full screen and I'll play this for you and let's just take a look and see how it turned out. All right, folks, so that turned out pretty good. So let's move on to the second example. Now the second example, we're gonna use a lion. So we're actually gonna use an animal so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna click on all this and select backspace. And then I'm gonna go over to media. And then what I'll do here is I'm gonna click on the lion clip, drag and drop it down to the timeline, okay? And then from there, we're just gonna follow the same process. So we're just gonna go to text, default text. I'm gonna click on this, drag and drop it down to the timeline. I'm gonna click on the text, hold the click and make it the same size for now anyway and then we're just going to customize the text so with the text box highlighted under basic default text we're going to go backspace and i am just gonna type in lion here okay and then i'm going to click on this and i'll just click on druck wide i'll make druck wide a favorite and i will click on that okay and then once again i'm just going to go I'll, I'll make a shadow to it as well. So I'm gonna click on it, make a shadow, and then in order to make it bigger or reposition, we can just click on this and drag over here, drag over here. Uh, I'm just gonna click on this and go like this, okay? Now, what sometimes you can do with animals is you can actually remove the background of the top layer. And I'll show you that here in a moment. So I'm going to make a, so that's the size that I want the text to be. And that's pretty much the position. Maybe I'll move the text up a little bit more. Right about there, make it perhaps a little bit bigger, okay? Now what we can do here is we can click on the text, make sure the text box is highlighted and hold down on Alt and hit G as in George, okay? And then what we can do is we'll duplicate the bottom layer. So we'll put the bottom layer above the text or the compound clip layer that we just made. So I'm gonna hold down on Alt, hit G as in George, drag it up and release, okay? We're going to go over here. We're gonna make sure the top layer is highlighted. We're gonna go to remove BG. Now let's just try auto removal and see what happens. Sometimes it kind of works for animals, but sometimes it doesn't, okay? So I'm just gonna click this. We'll give it a bit. We'll wait for it to process. I'll be back. All right, folks, so I'm back. Now, initially this has worked. Let's just play this out and actually see if it works with the auto removal from start to finish. So I'm just gonna play this out. Let me put it on full screen here. And you can see that there's there's some stuff going on. It's, uh, the text is kind of going, see? 
the text is kind of going in in the middle of everything here and not quite working out 100% when we do auto removal. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to make sure that this top clips highlighted. I'm going to click off of auto removal and unhighlight it and I'm going to go to custom removal. Okay, now let's just see if there's any difference here. So I'm going to select custom removal and then I'm going to go to smart brush. So I'm going to follow the same process that I did with the buildings here and I'm just going to outline the big cat here. Okay. See what happens. See if it comes to the conclusion of what I'm trying to do. So I'm just outlining as much of the cat as I can here and hopefully get some of the ear. It's almost like you just got to touch these edges here and it gets the point. So I'm just, I'm doing the best I can folks. Uh, let's just see what happens here. So I just clicked on that. I held the click throughout up until this point. So I held down on my mouse. Now I'm going to release. Okay. It's got the lion. All right. With the exception of some little bit right here, which I could click as well, but that's just too finicky and it's not in the way of the text. So it's applying. Let's let this process and then let's see how this turns out. Okay. So you got to let it process. And then of course it's not done until you press apply. So I'm going to click apply. And now the lion, the text is in back of the lion. Now here's the true test though. I'm not hundred percent sure if this is going to work out. Now this particular custom removal and any background removal is never hundred percent. Okay. So you have to take that into consideration. This is trial and error, but I thought I would just do this tutorial just to show you folks the basics and uh, you can kind of, you can try some different things with it and see what works and what doesn't. All right. So let's put this on full screen. I'm going to play it. Let's take a look. And so far this has turned out better than the auto removal. All right, so so that's quite good, folks. So I think you can take that, right? That's the best we can pretty much do with this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.